Hi, and welcome to a special episode of the Nitty Bitty Sisters. We are going to be doing some natural dyeing with some avocados. Well, actually the avocado skins and pits. So we have collected, I don't know how many, four a piece? Yeah, four each, yeah. Yeah, four each over the course of what, a few weeks? Yeah. Two or three weeks? Yeah, we don't eat them that fast. No, we don't either. No. We do like our avocado toast here. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> so good. Yes. Um, but anyway, we're going to get the yarn put into the mordant. We're going to use two different mordants. We've got citric acid and we have some alum. So we're going to put, I guess we're going to put alum in this one and we're going to see with the different mordants if it makes a difference in the color that turns out yeah. with the avocado pit skins. Um, and I think we're also going to do some, after we do the original dyeing, we're gonna add some iron mordant in there too and see how that affects the color. So you're getting a little bit of science in there too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So we have figured out it takes um, what was it? 10% of how much your yarn weighs of the Mortons. So we're using five hanks that I have minified down to 20 gram minis. And so that would be 500 grams of yarn. And we're splitting that in half. So 250, 250. So that would be 25 grams each of the Mortons. So we're going to get 25 grams. Need my glasses so I can see. <laughs> okay, and we're doing citric acid in this one. I, th I would say that's okay. It's 25.06. Yeah, sounds good. Good enough. Yeah. All right, and there's a little bit of chunks in there. I'm just gonna kind of smush those chunks. Do we need to go ahead and get the water going? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, front, high. Yeah, high, and then this one. That's about high, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> and if you wanna know what 25 grams of citric acid looks like, it's about that much. This is a half cup measuring cup. So a little less than half. I thought for sure 25 grams, that sounds like a lot. I'm like, ooh, we're gonna have all this stuff floating around in there. Okay. Turns out just to be a little bit. Do you wanna go ahead and measure? Get all this. Or do you want me to measure Yeah, it? we need to. Okay. And then put that on and then just hit that right there. Okay. Yep, and it should zero that out. There you go. Good? Yep. And what should be, is this heavier or lighter <laughs> than that? I have no idea. <laughs> Experimentation time. Yes. And I'm gonna push that yarn off, that plastic away from that burner. 25 is what we're going for? Yes. Okay. As close to it as we can. Well, that Ziploc thing don't work very well does not want to seal. Maybe. Might have to stick that in a different bag. I'm gonna set it back here. Oh, I can. Because that doesn't want to seal very well. Okay, and we're supposed to bring the water to a boiling, and then we add the mordant to the water stir it till it dissolves, and then we're gonna turn it down to simmer. Okay. <laughs> 25.07. I see it flickering between six and seven, so we're about the same, so that's okay. We'll Too see. Funny. Okay, come on. I know. Boil, boil, now boil. we're waiting for water to boil, right? 
Yep. That's, that's going to take some time. <laughs> okay. Um, we need to put, I purchased some reusable zip ties that we're going to put into the yarn because I have seen other dyers use like zip ties or whatever to yep. be able to grab, just grab a hold of the yarn and pull it out that way. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I've got enough. Yeah, ordered, there was a hundred in here, so we, ha we have 25 of them. Did you want to keep these separate or somehow um, mark them with two zip ties or maybe so? Yeah, these ones were a little shy of 20 grams, so I kind of have those separate. Yeah, I guess we can. And then we're going to... I'll take one too. See, it feels like... I mean, that one's red, so that one's yeah. gone, but it feels like it's right there. I guess the heat from both of them. Okay, we're gonna undo them. Oh. Because <laughs> we gotta make sure it gets good and saturated in the dye. All right. Madam. All right, and I can't see. Starting to get some bubbles. I've got this one. <laughs> Can little, you tell I've never used zip ties before? A little clicky thing on the inside. How tight are you? Not tight at all. No. Okay. Okay, and then this one. We can just set those there. Does it matter that I put them the opposite direction? No. <laughs> okay. I don't care. Well, would they lay in there better? I don't know. Hey, hey. I'm going to go ahead and flip it just because I guess I'm a little <laughs> um, yeah, like things point. going the same direction. You might call that something else, but <laughs> we won't. OCD. <laughs> we won't call that out. <laughs> and I'm still doing it the wrong way. That's well, at least thing. at least these ones are just one. Yeah. So that's okay. Oh, we still got another hank over here. They are okay. I got them. Eh, isn't that where? Oh, there it is. Same direction. All right. Okay. And do we want to lay these over there too? I hope these don't come untied. Did you just knot at one time? I didn't. It's like just tied. See, it's just like tied around there. Oh, yeah. Just, I don't know. Just don't be too, too aggressive with it. Yeah. Getting bubbles. Getting bubbles. There's no food. And I was just talking to Nancy about um, in the fall, all the different things that will be available to use as a natural dye. Around here, we have uh, black walnut. We have poke berries. We have um, sumac. They've got some berries on there too, and goldenrod. So I can't wait till the fall, and we can try some of those different things to dye with as well. And I follow a lady on Instagram. I just saw her on 
Facebook. She's in the knit and chat group. Thanks. She is on the knit and chat, yes, knit and chat group on Facebook. And she was showing how she dyed with rhubarb. She used rhubarb root and, and it was a beautiful yellow, and she used a, she used the leaves as well. And it's like a mossy green color. So, um, I was like, oh, that is so cool. And on her Instagram page, she said, follow me on Instagram. And she did like a more detailed informational thing on there. And I will look her up and we can link that in the show notes. Okay. And if y'all are interested in looking her up, um, then you can see what she did as well. And she has an avocado one on there too. I need to look that look on that one. I was more interested in the, in the rhubarb. rhubarb. I just thought it was so cool how with the roots, she got this beautiful yellow. Yeah. Because you wouldn't think. Cause now the leaves, you would think because right. the leaves it's are green. green. Yeah. Um, but with the root, I thought that was beautiful. Okay, we're starting to get some boilage on this one. You want to add that okay. in there. And this one's just about there. I know. It's like, <gasps> I can't wait to see how this turns out. Yeah, the different colors. Hopefully, hopefully you can still see us past the steam. Right. We'll cut it down in okay. a little bit. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one down to okay. simmer to get that one turned down. Sometimes that burner, it's an old stove. <laughs> I can't wait to get a new one. But sometimes that burner will boil, boil, boil. You'll turn it down and it's still like full, full boil. Yeah. Yes. And I have to turn it off and then back on. And yeah. It's like, come on. Crazy. Put yeah. Put yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we done with the scale? Yes. And we won't leave y'all hanging the whole time because. We're gonna put the yarn in. You need some more. You got three. I got three. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. Because <laughs> now we got four. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, and here's this. Oh, one. you need to go. This one's balling. Fun time. I'm gonna turn that one down. Me as well. Um, as I was saying, we're gonna put the yarn in and it's gotta sit in here for an hour. So, we're gonna knit while this sits. Woohoo! Wish y'all could join us. Yes. Alrighty. Too fun. All right, so do you have a thermometer? <laughs> Maybe a meat thermometer? It's a good question. Uh-oh. We might not have all our, all our, all our ducks supplies. Let me look. Let me look, Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did you need? One. I need one 180 one. something. This is the only one I've got. Yeah, I'm 
Let's see yours, because yours has been cooling more than longer than mine. So between 180 and something. Now it looks like it's perfect. It's starting to steam up, I can't see. Looks like it's, it's not even 200? It's not even to 200. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna peek in the book real quick and just see the temperature. Okay. Yeah, within a range of 185 to 200, and that's where it's at. So, ugh. we've got 25 minis that can't go in half. Just make one 24 and one 26. I guess so. Okay. So be done. <laughs> what I can, what we can do is the one that has the twenty six. Put the ones that are lower in weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we'll kind of even out, I guess. Yeah. Good deal. Alrighty. Have to get some bloopers on how do we get these things off now. <laughs> it should be just a whoop. Like they're... a li latch release yeah. type thing. Yeah. All right. So exciting. Get your yawn in there, girl. What? Get your yawn in there, girl. Well, I was going to wait for you. Go wait. Go wait. Okay. So you're going to get. Twenty-five. So you're gonna get one's gonna get twelve. Mm -hmm. One's gonna get thirteen. Uh-huh. Okay. So you're gonna do that and let me check them out. Probably can't fit my hand my whole hand in there. And mine is at temperature too. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. It's so squishy. Look. Oh yeah. Squish, squish. Okay, I'm gonna stir mine too. <laughs> it's gonna spin in the pot. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so too. It might be smaller batches. <laughs> it's a bit rough. Those fumes. <laughs> well, we might be able to, um, like, once once the water absorbs in there, then it might be okay. Oops, oops. Now we definitely don't want tanglage happening. No tangling. Y'all be good with each other. Oh, huh. I was like, what's happening? This is one of the specials. They're so special. I'm gonna grab those last. I'm gonna grab all the singles. All the single girls. Okay. Okay. Alright, I didn't even count. I guess. Alright. Alright, we ready? Yes. So you just drop them in. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so satisfying. <laughs> just let them fall in. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. 
and you don't want to since the water is hot and we're using oh I forgot to say what fiber we're using we are using 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and you don't want to um, like do a lot of swishing because that's gonna felt I'm sure so we'll get this it smells like a wet sheep <laughs> it does. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Alrighty then. Awesome. Mine is all in there. Mine too. Okay. I'm going to get a snap a picture. Too and cool. we'll see you back here in an hour. We're going to go knit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny how, like, look how yours is still staying kind of the creamy, but the, it's kind of turning yellow-ish. That's fine. We'll periodically stuff it. Just okay. make sure it's like pushed down in good. I just don't want to get it too. It's too funny. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> it came with this thing. I don't know what. Mm. Maybe to put around them, to hold them? Maybe. To corral them? I don't know. Does anybody know what those are? <laughs> okay. Here's some yummy juice for us. <laughs> Actually, we fix. I fix some. <clears throat> Iron mordant, just some rusty nails, and I don't know what all was in that bucket in there. <laughs> There's even floaties, you can see them floating around. Anyway, put some water and a little bit of vinegar to leach some of that iron out of there. We'll save that. Careful. I'm glad I didn't spill it. <laughs> anyway, our hour is up for the yarn sitting in the mordant. So we're going to rinse it now. And I guess we need to keep them, keep them separate. Straight, yeah, so we know what's what. I guess I will bring mine over here and, okay. Yeah, they're not hot. Okay, and these are off, yep, okay. Exciting. You got it? Yummy! I'm just gonna just gently squeeze it out, not bring it. Just 
and just had the hot water going. Yeah. It's pretty hot, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I can handle it pretty hot. My hands are all red <laughs> from the hot water. I'm just going to dump them together. I'm going to dump it outside. Okay. Wash those out to get them ready for the avocado dye. <laughs> always gotta have chocolate right <laughs> right okay so we're gonna do a science experiment here we're going to do distilled water in one pot and we're gonna do tap water in the other to see if there's a difference in like the minerals in the water how it's gonna affect the color so we got our, I already finished off one jug of distilled and I'm just adding just a hair more in here. I think that'll probably be good, huh? That's where the water was. Yeah. Before. All right. And then we're just going to do tap water in this one. All righty. This is going to be so fun. my chocolate while we're waiting for the pot to fill you know every dev chocolate wrapper has a saying on it right this one says every moment matters including this one uh, <laughs> it sure does doesn't it yeah okay and so then we're gonna add our pits lovely um, I'll let you do yours. Okay. Um, and we did say we had four pits and four, yep, pits and peels each. They're kind of leathery now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like get them out oh. in there. This oh. one still has its sticker. Oh well. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> Look at this one. It was like. I know. Really, really I know. I don't know. Okay. You know, little baby pits. Uh, I've got one little baby pit, too. He's floating around. The others are sunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Mine are floating up, too. Awesome. Okay, and then it's said to simmer. So we're going to turn these on to simmer. Turn the food on medium, and then we can turn it down. Kind of take the pictures to. Yeah, because y'all can't see in the pots, can yeah. you? Too fun. Okay, it is. 156 right now and how long do we want to let this simmer at least an hour okay and then come back and see what the color looks like yeah okay so we'll see so, you in a little bit yep see you in another hour <laughs> okay the Avocado pits and skins have been simmering for about an hour and a half now. Um, the distilled water looks like the dye, I guess, didn't take as dark. So here is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't know if you can see that. It's, that's the distilled. And then here's the tap. So it's much darker. Yeah, the tap water. I guess because of all the minerals that's in tap water. Anyway, so we are going to take the pits and skins out now. 
and add the yarn. Oh, that's pretty. That is so funny how the this ugly colored pits and skins can make that pretty of a color. Yeah. I was hoping to be able to get him. Get it all. Alright. We're gonna combine them. Yeah, that that'll be fine. Cause I don't know if we'll use them again. Or I just chunk them. Huh? Are you gonna let them sit overnight? I don't know, maybe we could. We can bowl it again and we could do another batch more. Do you think it needs to be strained? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> At least that one. There's a lot of oogies in the bottom. <laughs> don't want that oogies in the yarn. No way. A lot of floaty stuff. <laughs> Do you want to take the strainer to it, or do we want to just pour into another container? Yeah, let me get, um, can you see that? So you can do each one. Let me get water hot so I can get the bowl hot. I don't want to put the hot thing right. to a cold bowl. <laughs> I've that, done that before. <laughs> that might not be too good. It explodes. Cracks everywhere. Yeah. Okay. This is exciting. Pictures. Do you think that that one needs to be... Um, Strange as well. Yeah, there's oogies in that one too. Okay. All right. Okay. And I think I'm going to add a little more water to bring it back up to that line. Too. Okay. And instead of using that baby, <laughs> that went out of my way. Let me move it Do you need it? see how dark that got using the tap water. thinking when it was <laughs> cooking. It kind of smells like tea. Isn't that funny? See, and then you can see. And then that's with distilled water. A little bit lighter. Yeah. Not a whole lot. 
Yarn time! Oh, oh my gosh! So exciting! Okay. We're just putting them in. Yeah. Are you putting them in any you particular can't... way? I'm just trying not to twist what I have here. Looks like tea, doesn't it? It it's does. There. I know. It's like some of it's like trying to stay on the top. That's a pretty color. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, okay, so I guess we'll set the timer for what an hour and see see what, what color like, we yeah. turn turn up with an hour. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Do I need to rearrange mine? I don't think so. <laughs> Your yarn looks so much neater than mine does. <laughs> I laid it in there wonky, I think. Those are just sitting up. I don't know if that plays a part. It don't matter. As long as it'll get it'll yeah. get in there. All that dye will get in there. And then I'm sure it'll be like what is it tonal when it, like one section is darker, one section oh, is lighter? I think that'll be so cool. I love tonals anyway better than solid yarn. Yeah. I like that subtle differences in the colors. Okay. I could just sit here and squish it all day. I know. Just let it be. Kind of kind of addictive. Yeah. Trying to make sure it all stays down in there. Those look like they'll be lighter sections. Mm, that's okay. Picture. That's fun to see. Do you need to turn this light out so you can get a good picture of it? You need to, no, I don't think it's good. You need to do the Snapchat pictures to show that. That's funny that. The Snapchat pictures show the actual, the actual color. Yeah. So if any of you have Snapchat, try taking a picture of something with your phone camera and then with your Snapchat camera and see which one actually looks accurate. Yeah. And see, yeah. Cause... I should, if I would have known, I took a really beautiful um, sunrise picture this morning. But of course, it doesn't capture the colors yeah. that great. Yeah. You take a picture, you're like, ah, oh, looking at it. And I you know. Take a picture, like, oh. Yeah. It doesn't look near as pretty. 
I know it's not going to be as dark as we wanted it to be, but that's okay. Yeah, there's always next time. Yeah, we'll let it sit. And, and plus um, the iron. Yeah, we'll take out half of them and then add the iron to it and see what colors we come out with that way too. Yay. Okay. All right. We need to set a timer. We'll, yes. And we'll be back in another hour or so to let you know how it's going. See ya. So we have let the yarn simmer for half an hour. And the water is fairly clear, like almost clear. And so we are going to take half of, half of this yarn out and half of this yarn out and add the Iron Mordant. Iron Mordant? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, but it didn't get as dark. No. My opinion, it didn't get as dark as I thought it would. No. I thought it, it really would be didn't. darker. It's pretty light. Yeah. So, we'll see what the iron does. But I'm going to take, I'm working on getting half of these out. Are you disappointed? Yeah. Here, we'll do it like this. That way you can lift it right in there and then where it won't drip everywhere. Mm -hmm. I was going to put it in the glass. Oh, okay. Four, but that's fine. Four, Four, nine, five, six. Did you, you got all the double, right? Yes. Seven, eight, nine. We could, like, we could probably re dye this. <laughs> I was gonna say, we could probably redo it, yeah. Let me get it, I can get a glove and like squeeze. I guess it doesn't matter. So that's what I was thinking. The drain thing, yeah. I wonder. I think it's still like... got a pretty color to it. Yeah. Okay, and I'll stir that iron mordant again and we can add that to it. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, ma'am. So, are we going to take okay. all the yarn out and stir the water with the iron? Or just pour it in with the yarn in there? Uh, I was just thinking to pour it in. That probably needs to be stirred up, though, because oh. it kind of settled again. Yeah, just kind of use that. And then we can use this. to leave just one of these ones in yeah. and take the other two out. So. Okay, so I've got we're taking I'm taking seven is that right? Five of these and two of the other. we're going to need a lot more avocados or actually let them sit overnight 
the pits and skins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could like put them all back in one pot and like bring it back to a simmer with all the skins and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very light tunnel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very disappointing. So five, and then two of the double. There's one. So do I have one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that kind of looks cool, though. Definitely a learning experience. Yep. That's what it's all about, right? How do you want to measure this? Did you find out how much to add? It didn't say. So I think we can just add whatever. You want to do like quarter cup maybe? Probably don't need much at all. That's what I'm thinking. And I don't know if it's going to do anything. Yeah. Do it over the sink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get it everywhere. Good. Mm, yummy. How much was this? One cup? Yeah. Good. And you said a quarter cup? Uh -huh. Or do you want to do half? Half and half? Let's just put the whole thing in because there's enough water in there for another cup, don't you think? Yeah. Do you want to pour yours or do you want me to pour it again? Yeah, yeah. You want to try it? you being all autistic with it. <laughs> hey, Alright. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Yeah, I don't know either. But, give it a shot. See. Yep. Okay. We shall see what it does. Thank <laughs> you. 
this in the dishwasher for sure. Could it be a golding hot? Yeah. Sterilize it. Yep. Fun, fun. Again, I'm going to rinse out the yarn. Okay. Put them in here nicely so they don't tangle. And then I'll figure out where to hang them to dry. Look how yours is turning. Ew. <laughs> but mine's not doing anything. Really? Huh. That's funny. Very interesting. <laughs> and it's funny because, like, the water, I thought there would be a difference. Yeah. Because the way the color looked in yeah. the pan. Well, they looked so much lighter. Yeah. I don't know. But that looks like it's. That's different. That's definitely different. That's funny. That's cool though. And mine was the distilled, right? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So that we have finished up dyeing and well, there I will insert a picture of the yarn once it's dry. Yeah, the finished product. Yeah, but we it did not turn out the way we thought it would. But uh, like we were talking a little bit ago, the process was probably a little rushed. Yeah, as we just had today. Yeah, letting stuff sit overnight or even being able to simmer for longer time. Yeah. Um, would help make it make the color darker, but mm -hmm. it was fun. Yeah, a good time. Yeah, I enjoyed the process. It was neat to see the different things to do. Yeah, but definitely. Yeah, I think our next experiment will probably be black beans. So that'll be a longer process because I've read that you have to soak the beans for at least 24 hours yeah so so you'll have that ready yeah right okay yeah. and then that way I come over and it's ready to go yeah okay. um, since it turned out so light and with our short amount of time that we had we decided to put all the pits and skins back in the pot here and I'm gonna let it simmer it is I don't even know what time it is. The timer of the thing is still. But we're going to until let it simmer until bedtime. And then we're going to... Um, then I'll turn it off and put the lid on and let it set overnight. And then in the morning, we'll take... I'm going to take one of the other batches of yarn that is really, really pale. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And... Hopefully, we'll get a darker color. Yeah. So we shall see, and then we can add that picture into the video. That's what I'll set up. Good, anyway. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll work out. Yeah. Having more time. I hope so. Let it sit and simmer. And hopefully, there's still enough dye in the pits and the skins to be able to, to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If not, we'll know for next time. Yep. We'll do it again. We'll do it different. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on our adventure of yarn dyeing today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.
kind of don't drop the phone in the water. Ready? Wait. <laughs> okay. Sorry. They're getting the, the bloopers. Uh, yeah. There's going to be like a, let's for supper. <laughs> Yarn. Yarn. <laughs>